Hi, so right now I want to share this TechCrunch article on Twitter. So I click the tweet button and look what happens. It pops up and TechCrunch has already created a nice short URL here with their own branded domain. Unfortunately, it's a really ugly URL. It's not my brand name and I want this to be under my brand name, not TechCrunch's. And it's got this really ugly tail end on the side of it, which we know decreases link trust. So what am I going to do? I'm going to click on my rebrandly tool right here, create the link myself, add, I'll choose my own custom domain. So maybe I'll put it under Derek.link or one of my fun ones like just the click. And I'll type in dash uh, Twitter's dead. Save the link. Immediately I can share this on Twitter. Just like that, just a couple of clicks. Once the link is shared, we can go over to our dashboard and here's a link that's already been created. We can see our clicks, we can favorite it, share it again. We can also dive into our click meter dashboard, which is our more advanced analytics tool and the paid tool it goes on top of this. And we can track unique clicks versus spider clicks, which there are usually a lot of spider clicks. We can see a bunch of different data. We can also add different things to the tracking link, such as link retargeting, notes, tags, conversion tracking, uh, redirection, countdown, a ton of other parameters that go into this. Now to connect that personal domain that I used a few minutes ago, you just go to our rebrandly.com slash new domain, type in uh, whatever you'd like, search for it in our domain lookup, which is quickly, uh, we're working on becoming one of the fastest ones in the world. We can say techcrunch.name is available. I could purchase it, connect it, and within 15 minutes be sharing links under that domain. Thank you.